week with your top plays, and this is the last vote before you decide the best play of season six. Will your play make the vote? We're about to find out. And this week, we got Lakers PA announcer Lawrence Tanner on the call. Take it away. It's time for Top Plays. This is LT, Lawrence Tanner, public address announcer for your Los Angeles Lakers. In this special edition, we want to see who has the most flair as they fly through the air. Let's roll your mobile one top drives. Get into your theater seats for tea time. Dribbles behind their back and through the opponent's legs to finish on the other side of the rim. Putting on a show worthy of a big stage. Nice. Rec time next with tonight's entertainment. One good crossover sets up another, and then shows handles for days. Get them to the rim for top plays. Staying in the wreck with the Thornton Wave. Crosses over from the perimeter and uses finesse to switch hands at the rim. There wasn't much room. A fantastic way to finish. Closing today in beast territory with nine percent. Iso on the wing stuns them with a spin dribble and crosses over to a clear path layup. What a winning combination. Choose your top play of the week. Four great options. Season six has been rather exceptional, hasn't it? Huh. Tune in next week as we choose your top play of season six. See you then, 2K TV fans. It is time for Team 2K TV, my NBA Eras Playoff Edition. We'd like to start this segment by letting you know there was only one member of the team that did not make the playoffs, and that is LD2K. What do you have to say for yourself? So Team 2K TV decided to do a My League in the Kobe era, the early 2000s. I unfortunately had a Kobe season ending injury. So with a four and 24 record, we are sitting good. The number one chance to get that number one draft pick in 2004. So I have my popcorn ready to go. I'm excited to hear about what you all are doing in the postseason. Take it away, fellas. All right, so for our first matchup, it was Blake and I once again in the first round, and I had a game plan for him. My plan was to get Tim Duncan in foul trouble, make LeBron James a shooter, and for myself to get to the free throw line. Now, in the first quarter, we were going back and forth, throwing jabs at each other, but unfortunately, Blake was hitting threes with rookie LeBron James. I mean, when was that ever happening? So I had to change my game plan just a little bit. But because I had to start guarding LeBron James, he was too strong for Latrell Sprewell, and Blake was dominating inside the paint. Now, I did get Tim Duncan in foul trouble, and who was out the game, but LeBron was just too much. So the game was close in the first half, but then the second half, Blake just took over. Right, Blake? Yeah, it was, it, the game plan worked. Uh, you threw me off guard. I was definitely trying to post up Tim Duncan more, but uh, you were beating me off the dribble a lot. Duncan was coming over with health defense and picking up a lot of fouls. I think what helped me is the fact that on the other side, Garnett got in foul trouble. So both of our star players were pretty much, you know, we, we, we had to be cautious with them and we had to go other places. Rodney went to Allen Houston, who had a pretty good game. I, I feel like Bibby didn't have the game he should have had. I was worried about him because point guard is kind of my weak spot on the roster. What I did actually is move Deshaun Stevenson to point guard just for the defensive presence. So I think that helped against Bibby ultimately. Right, that's our matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I heard your first round versus the Spurs was epic. Tell me about it. The first round for me was against the San Antonio Spurs, and I'm calling this the greatest NBA playoff game in league history. Quadruple overtime, Tracy McGrady goes off for 50 points, and I really needed every single one of them. I didn't expect the seventh seeded Spurs to give me such a tough matchup, 
but they did, and uh, ultimately we prevailed. Danny, was your first round as epic as Brian's? Nothing beats four overtimes. And in fact, I might have had a little bit too much confidence rolling in because I cut through all the teams I played like shredded wheat during the regular season to get the top seed against the Jazz. And I blew through them fairly easily. I found myself down early, worked my way back with hot shooting from the wings, spread the floor, and I was sitting very confident waiting for the Warriors in the second round. Blake, you beat Rodney in the first round, and then you're going on to face the number one seeded Detroit Pistons in the second round. What's the lowdown on that? Yeah, it was a tough matchup. They were actually beating me at halftime. Uh, very deep team, but my strategy was use Tim Duncan because Jamal Mashburn just couldn't handle his size and ultimately got in foul trouble. So then they had to put Battier on Tim Duncan. It was a wrap after that. So Blake moves on, and then we've got the matchup between Brian and Danny. Only one can come out of the second round. Tell us what happened. This was a great game on a lot of different fronts. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal absolutely ate with 26 and 10. But down the stretch, it was rookie Darko Milicic playing out of his mind and held Shaq to some key misses, three blocks in the game. Tracy McGrady, of course, was big with 26 points. And if you all remember, back in episode 30, the great Danny Hogger said, I'm going to guarantee a championship for the Kings this year. Kings this year. Kings this year. So we had bulletin board material for days, and we were not going to let that happen. Danny, tell us what happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I want to give credit to my opponent because Brian did something spectacular. He'd come off a 50-point Tracy McGrady performance. I set all my game plans to cover and pressure McGrady, and he did score a lot with Tracy, but he also had seven assists. So as soon as I would bring the double, he found good passes. He played the game smart. He really did. And that wouldn't have been a huge problem, except for I shot terribly from the three-point line with Antoine Walker, who had been huge all season, going two for 10. Dwayne Wade had zero points, who I had traded a lot of my bench for to earn that draft pick. And I did not have enough firepower to continue. So props to both my buddies here. I wish you a great game and a great luck in this contest ahead. Two down, two to go in the conference finals. Let's go to Blake first. Blake, you seem to have all the strategy you did last year and you're doing it this year. What happened to you? So I faced off against the 76ers. They were the third seed. And once again, I mean, it worked for me all playoffs. So the strategy was go to Tim Duncan. Uh, they didn't have an answer for him. He ended game two with 22 and 11, two blocks, just a monster. Stephon Marbury did give me trouble, but I took this series in, in two games. Now our other Team 2K TV, who was also in the playoffs in the conference finals, Brian. So the conference finals was Warriors versus Clippers, and this matchup kind of came full circle for me because if you remember, I got the third pick in the 03 draft from the Clippers. So Kenyon Martin, who used to be on the Warriors, is now going against us. I got Carmelo Anthony, the Rookie of the Year, and we made easy work of the Clippers. In game one, I even rested my starters the entire fourth quarter because I knew I could get it done and I wanted to save their energy. Game two, much of the same. Worked through Tracy McGrady, and uh, next thing I knew, I won the series two games. Ooh. So we are at the finals now. We've got Eastern Conference Team Blake with the Miami Heat and Western Conference Team Brian with the Golden State Warriors. It's 1-1 right now and it's a best of three series. So the winner of the next game takes it all. We'll be playing this game in next week's episode. Be sure to check back for that. Good luck, fellas. When I say fellas, good luck, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We asked you to share your My Team lineups, and there are some fierce rosters out there, that's for sure, and I wouldn't want to go up against any of them. Yeah, we love seeing what you sent us, so we decided to invite the My Team professor back on 2K TV to review your lineups and give you some tips on how you can improve your squad.
All of you have been submitting your My Team lineups to us here on 2K TV, and today we're joined by the My Team Professor, AKA Jimmy, to grade some of these great My Team lineups that the fans submitted. Jimmy, how you doing? Doing great, Chris. Thanks so much for having me on. I look forward to seeing these lineups, and there's a couple special ones in here. I think you're gonna like them, so I'm definitely looking forward to it, and let's take a look. This is brought to us by NWO for Life. Talk about this all Lakers squad, Jimmy. Got to start off with Mr. Bonga, the Pink Diamond, Laker legend, my team legend for sure at the point guard. And even on the bench with cars like Elgin Baylor, and I do enjoy using that Austin Reeves card. Luke Walton is good without a position. We've got Anthony Davis from the trophy case, Galaxy Opal. And in order to get him, you had to get James Worthy, Pink Diamond. So it's definitely a lot of fun to see these different Laker cards. And I enjoy building different theme teams myself. So I'll give this one an A. And uh, Chris, I think you would agree. Absolutely. Our next submission is brought to us by Stoey. And I have a feeling this is a temporarily great lineup. Break this one down. So this is all free agents. And uh, it's very important to note that with free agents cards, you only get them for five games a piece. They can be earned in various ways throughout my team through logging in and draft so chris i know this user this submission and i could definitely tell that this person was definitely trying to have some fun uh, with the free agents so i'm going to give this one a c for creativity it definitely made me crack a smile that's for sure and of course with all these diverse lineups some stood out to you and us and the next submission by slumped goat was a pretty decent lineup talk about it Chris, there's a lot of great cards here across the board, starters and the bench. You look at T-Mac, he's one of the best cards. Bull Bowl is one of the best cards. Earning Hakeem is definitely big for level 40. You got Tim Thomas, who's become a my team legend this year. So this stood out to me as the best lineup that was submitted. So I'd go ahead and give this one an A+. I'm feeling generous today with my grading. You want to build the best team, but sometimes you need a little bit of improvements across the board. So talk about this next submission by Juicefan513. This one needs a little bit of reshuffling, but I can see the vision. Glenn Rice should go into the shooting guard spot. Deadlift Shrimp should go in the small forward spot. And I would recommend a card like Kevin Porter Jr. to hold down the point guard spot. And you can go ahead and get somebody like Shane Battier as well to round out the bench. He's got Hakeem, so you gotta respect that. Graded at a 9.75. I'm gonna give this one a, a B, B minus, but I could see the vision on this one for sure. And it kind of seems to me, Jimmy, that a lot of these cards that these fans are submitting have come from the last few seasons of my team. So as we embark into season seven soon, what stands out about all the submissions so far to you? I definitely saw a lot of out of position cards, from those packs, Antoine Jameson is a card that I saw a lot that I really like. Obviously, I mentioned Akeem, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run through a few quick submissions of my own that I would recommend to all players. You got Thurl Bailey, Lakers legend Kyle Kuzma. I like to run Mark Eaton. I mentioned Shane Battier. You got Rudy Fernandez, Ricky Davis. I've seen Mo Bamba, I really like him. Jonathan Isaac and Sam Decker is a card you can get in the token market who I really like, as well as the legend himself, Arvidas Sabonis. A card that has just come out is Galaxy Opal Luol Deng, and I'm very excited to see him as well. All right, Jimmy, once again, thanks for coming on and always talking my team with us right here on 2K TV. I know you're out there with the community a lot, playing my team, educating fans. Talk about where the fans can find you. Yeah, Chris, thanks again for having me on. You can catch me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, I'm pretty much everywhere. And Reddit too, of course, that's where it all began. Of course, and thanks to all of you, the fans, for submitting your My Team lineups to us right here on 2K TV. Jimmy couldn't break all of them down today, but we loved what we're seeing.
Season seven arrives next week, which means you can count on us to break down everything exciting coming that season. And you vote the best play of season six. That's right. It's all coming to you next Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure to stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, check us out on social media. We're at NBA 2K underscore 2K TV. Until next time, enjoy the game. Finish season six strong, y'all. I want to see some dubs out there. Mm.